Hi there. Today we're going to have a look at one of uh, Kings of Convenience songs called uh, Know How. Uh, Kings of Convenience are a great band by the way, just go see them live if you can. This song is typically played with a classic guitar, I don't have one so I'm going to just play with my court uh, um, steel string guitar, but it's the same. So uh, it's a standard tuning, you just need to put capo on the 6th fret and there you go, this is how it goes. try to play this slowly and then I will tell you which fingerings I use. So the first chord, um, I played using a barre with my first finger uh, on the 8th fret and then this covers everything but the lower E string which needs to play open, so 6th fret. And then the second finger uh, is on the 9th fret and then the uh, pinky will be on the 11th fret of the 4th string. Now the, um, the tricky part about this song is not really the left hand but the right hand. So the way that they just give the rhythm and then you have to selectively play just some strings and not others while at the same time preserving the percussive um, element to it. Otherwise, just you know, it doesn't sound right at all. So, just going back to the um, the, the the first um, shape is what I told you, and you play it like this. So, what I do is I alternate the um, these two notes, so the one played by the first finger and the uh, pinky, with my thumb and first finger. because these are the most important notes in this chord. At the same time, with my ring finger on the right hand, I try to resonate uh, the note that I'm playing with my middle finger on the left hand. So this is not... Then you go to the second shape, which is a familiar seventh chord played on the eleventh fret so that's uh, uh, that's an E flat and then you alternate uh, the note playing on the fifth string uh, lifting your ring finger like this from the first one so don't forget to keep alternating the percussion with the right hand just to keep rhythm uh, then the third chord is like this this is played on the 8th fret and it's um, open string first, open string second, then eight on the third, eight on the fourth, open string fifth, and eight on the sixth. So, and how you play it is like again, 
lines, the important notes to stress are the ones played on the fourth and on the fifth string. So, and once again, I use mainly the thumb and the index finger to just highlight this. So, and you might want just to play also the second and third string with your ring and middle finger. And then the last, the fourth, is this shape, which from the first finger is open first, open second, open third, and then on the fourth string you're at the tenth fret, and on the fifth string you're on the eleventh fret. And then you play it. So you just keep playing this, uh, the notes that you're fingering with the middle and ring finger, these two, and then so you play these two, and then it, this this last quarter ends with this figure. So this is um, using I do it with my ring finger on the tenth fret of the third string, and then striking as well the first and the second string open ones so open strings like that so you start with the ring finger and then you do a pull off with the index finger at the eighth fret while still um, striking the first and the second strings which are open so And then you pull off with the index and then you hammer on on the 10th fret of the 3rd string. So it's like this. So on the right hand I do it with my um, ring finger, mid finger and, and index. So each one to its own string like that. So very slowly again from the beginning. So let's look at the right hand more in detail so that you can have an idea of how I'm playing this. This is it for today, so hope you enjoyed it and see you soon.